Hello and welcome to my October favorites video. Wow, October favorites already. A week from the day this video goes live. I will be on my very first ever airplane to Vancouver. And then from Vancouver to New Zealand. So, yeah, that's a thing. Every time I think about it, I get so stressed. I feel like I'm going to poo myself. Like, for real. Because I've never been on a flight before. So I'm so afraid I'm going to, like, pack something incorrectly and it's going to explode in my bag or or or, or something. By bag, I mean suitcase, of course, because you can not only bring so much liquid on your carry-on. That I do know. Uh, right now, as I'm shooting this, Sam, my sister, as you know, she is in Korea, actually. She decided to take her own international journey uh, shortly before mine. And she bought, like, some stuff to take over over with her, and I get to use it, like, her straightener. Like, I was just accepting that I was going to have bad hair the whole time I was in New Zealand. And she bought a straightener that you can use internationally because of the whole voltage thing. And so she's going to let me use it, so that's great. And I'm going to New Zealand, in case you're, you don't know. Uh, my stepbrother is getting married, and he lives in New Zealand, and they have a beautiful, perfect little fairy tale meet cute him and his fiance so I'm sure I will have them tell you that story in a vlog from while I'm down there uh that's great and also I told my dad that I wasn't gonna go with them unless we went to Hobbiton it didn't quite happen like that but similar so my dad and my stepmom and I are going to Hobbiton so that'll be a vlog too I bought two backup batteries for my vlog camera so expect lots of vlogs and pictures and stuff from my New Zealand trip. The next time I make a favorites video I will already be back from New Zealand that is stressful Oh, oh, I'm nervous. Oh, every time I think about it, I'm gonna poo. Enough about this coming month. This video is about this past month. I have to apologize to you. I feel like I really, really didn't do Halloween videos justice this year. I started them too late. I didn't start shooting them until about the end of August. And I really didn't get my groove until, like, the beginning of September. And just... It, it just all went by so fast and I feel like I missed out on so many videos I wanted to shoot. I actually shot a couple of videos that I didn't like the end result of so they didn't ever go live. You haven't seen them. Like there was a whole Annabelle video yet you never, that you never saw uh, because I didn't like how the end look turned out. Um, so I promise I will do better next year. I'll start earlier. I was talking to Pompberry on Instagram. If you don't know Pompberry, she's a YouTuber and she's so incredibly talented. I love her. And she told me that she starts her videos in May. So I might have to do that next year uh, because she's just on it. And also in my defense, I work in news radio. Like that's my real job. And we had an election. <laughs> so that kind of became a chunk of October. We're thinking about the election and doing stuff for that. So I want to show you some of my favorite things from this month. Now, obviously, probably the movie of the month for me was The Exorcist. I went from having never seen this movie before, like a year ago, to watching it so many times this month. Because I knew I was going to do the costume. After I did that video where I... I put the costume on, I kind of knew that I had to do this costume instead of Freddy. It was just too good, it was too fun, and I felt like a bum because I had already bought the Freddy costume, but whatever, I can always wear Freddy again. I just really loved how this turned out. Uh, there are pictures on my Instagram of my Halloween costume, but I will also insert one here. I made the barf out of, I bought like a squeezy bottle by Mayron uh, at Halloween Alley. That was actually part of my vlog last week if you saw it. Uh, like a squeezy bottle of green cream makeup and I literally mixed it with water and liquid latex and I was like, how do I get this on myself properly? Well, dumped it on myself and completely destroyed my beige bra. Didn't have the foresight to think that one through, uh, but literally it's just cream makeup mixed with water and liquid latex. And it was difficult to get off, but it looked really good. And it stayed on really well. So I guess that's really what matters in the end. It definitely stayed sticky for a long time. But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, so I knew I was going to be Reagan for Halloween. I'm glad I did. I had a couple people tell me they were having a hard time looking at me when I was at work and when I was out in the world on Halloween. And it was definitely worth it. So it was awful to get off. And I wrecked my bra. But I really enjoyed this movie. Even though I can't say most of Reagan's lines. Because they're aggressive cursing um it's just such a classic i love it and my work like i work in radio it's the right demographic for the exorcist you know for handing out candy kids are not gonna know what i am but like people older than me you know they're they're gonna know who reagan is and then if i can also give myself a pat on the back i had many different halloween themed outfits all throughout october different accessories and 
dresses and things that I could pair with my normal everyday outfits to kind of bring the spooky into just regular outfits. And one of my favorite dresses that I wore this whole month is by M and Sprout. And I actually wore it, I think, the day before Halloween or the 29th or something. And it's actually also the one that I'm wearing in the vlog from last week as well. And this, I can't remember if I said it already, but it's by M and Sprout. She's on uh, Etsy. And, like, just look at this pattern. This dress is so cute. It's just so cute. I love little, like, three-quarter length sleeves. I love this dress. It's just so cute. So, like, I'm going to wear this dress all year round. But I made sure I really wore it, like, at least once a week, pretty much, during October. I can't remember when I talked to you last about plants. Maybe it was my September favorite studio, but I really like plants. And that sort of continued throughout October. I didn't buy any more plants because I have been actively trying to save money, regardless of the other things you're going to see in this video. I have been trying to save money for New Zealand because I've known that I was going for a year and managed to save no money. Uh, so I have been trying to do that, but I bought this uh, moisture meter. It doesn't have any batteries. This is like 10 bucks at Canadian Tire. And this is truly so important because I am a chronic over water. I am so surprised that Lena is not obese because I am so, so my foreign grandmother. Like, oh, you sad? Eee, bee, bee. Like, that's so me. And I just, I feel like the minute something doesn't look proper with my plants, my instinct is to water them. And that is not right. Often that is actually the opposite of what you want to do. So now before I do anything, I stick the moisture meter in it. And if the plant does not need to be watered, I just leave it alone. I fight the urge and I leave it. But if it needs to be watered, at least I know that I'm not being too much, that it truly does need to be watered. And doing more research into the plants that I have and knowing what sort of moisture level each plant should be kept at really helps as well. Like my peperomia, ooh, that's not good. My peperomia is like a succulent pretty much. So that one can go really dry. Same with my Sansevieria, that's at work, that's actually not doing very well. That one can go really dry. But my, my, my croton that's at work really needs to be kept damp most of the time and my dracaena can dry out but like not too far i most definitely i think killed that maiden hair fern i bought i know i showed that in a video but i tried to repot it because i was afraid that it was not going to grow big because it was in that dinky little nursery pot and i needed it to be big enough to go into a terrarium at some point um so i wanted to grow bigger so i repotted it and then all the leaves just started to like go soggy almost and curl in on themselves so I didn't water it and then it got worse and then I decided to water it because the soil was completely dry and it just it wasn't going well so I gave it to my mom and I said mom please save this and I haven't seen it since so I actually don't know how it's doing but it's in it, it's in mom's hands now this right here let me I'm leaning on a table if there's cracking and stuff in this video I'm so sorry but it's, I, I have to lean on a table I just don't have the energy anymore to hold myself up. I'm sitting in a wheelchair with a seatbelt and I don't have the energy to hold myself up. But this little moisturizer was stupid expensive. <laughs> and I don't know that I would ever spend that on a moisturizer again, but I do really like it. Here's the rationalization behind this. This is the Josie Marin Argan Daily Moisturizer with SPF 47. I'm going to New Zealand. I needed a moisturizer with a pretty high SPF because I know that down there it is like it's going to be spring, summerish by the time we go there. Uh, so I needed a high-ish SPF, but I also needed something that was really going to hydrate my skin because my skin down in the deep layers has been feeling so dry lately, and I keep running out of my moisturizers because I use so much. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna buy a high-end one. So this was forty-seven dollars. I rationalized it by telling myself that it's a dollar per SPF point, point. Uh, and it is so nice. Like one pump. You don't get very much out of one pump, but I can make it do my whole face. And my skin just feels so nice after. My skin really likes argan oil, though, and so does my hair. So I knew I was going to like it. I knew I was going to hate the price. But it's so nice, and I have a feeling that, like, the bottle's going to come apart in my suitcase. So I'm going to just completely wrap the top of it with, like, tape. <laughs> That's We're going to hope for the best, and then wrap the bottle in newspaper, and then put it in, like, a bag. The other stupid makeup thing that I bought this month that actually has a review video coming in a couple of weeks is the Huda Beauty Nude Light Palette. Now these palettes actually just launched in October and I bought them the day that they launched on Sephora's website. I haven't even seen them in stores yet. Uh, so this is essentially like the mini version, like her regular Obsessions palette, but the mini version of that big nude palette that she made that I love, that I want, 
that in the review video for this palette, I tell you that I would never buy it because it's too expensive, and I don't know that that's true anymore. I think I might buy it because I just, I always forget how much I love the quality of Huda's eyeshadows because I don't use them very often because I only have crazy colors. I only have like the red palette and the blue palette. I can't use that. So I just, I forget how nice it would be to have those in like everyday wearable shades. And I wear pink eyeshadow all the freaking time. And I just really want that palette. And it is like 80 freaking dollars. And I want a larger complaint about how expensive that stupid palette is. And I just realized that you can see all of this mess over here. And I specifically wanted to frame this video so that you cannot see this. This is my tub of pet stuff. <laughs> like the cat litter is in the back. There's all the substrate and bags in the front. And I really wanted you to not be able to see this, but you can. So just please accept that this is just where all the pet stuff goes. Anyway, back to the palette. I love it. It's so beautiful. The shimmers are so nice. And the mattes are so beautiful. This is like my dream palette. This, I think I said in the review video, is like what Naked 3 should have been. And I really feel like the big version is my dream Naked 3 palette. And I might have, I might buy it. Like I'm supposed to be saving for a trip, but it's the Sephora sale right now. I want it. Don't judge me if I buy it. You're enablers, so you'll just tell me to buy it anyway. But I want it. And then the last favorite I want to talk about in this video is actually the LA Girl Pro Conceal. I'm pretty sure I mentioned this either last month or the month before, but it's worth mentioning again because this is the only concealer I use anymore. Like even today, I'm not wearing any other face makeup because. This, today is November 1st and I'm shooting this video, so yesterday was Halloween, so my face was completely caked. And I just wanted to give it a chance to breathe, but I do have this under my eyes and on a couple of my acne spots. It's just so nice, it blends into my skin so perfectly, but it has great coverage. I still hate uh, the little brush applicator. Did the review video on this go up yet, or does it go up like next week? I don't remember because I shot some of my Tuesday reviews for November in like the beginning of September, so I don't remember what order they go up. But if the video for this hasn't gone up yet, watch it because I freaking love this concealer. It is so good and it's like $5 or something. LA girl, I just love you. And other than that, I really couldn't think of anything else that I used consistently throughout the month of December. Month of December. This right here is pretty much how my makeup and my hair honestly look pretty much every day of October, except for the lipstick, because I just didn't wear lipstick at all. I just did my basic eye makeup concealer, and that was it. No face makeup, no blush, no highlighter, nothing, because I'm lazy. Uh, and my hair really needs to be redone, as you can tell, but I'm trying to wait till closer to the trip to do it. And yeah, I'm like, oh my god, I'm re-nervous again. Me. I've never been on a plane before. Also me. Yeah, let's travel for 24 hours straight. Swaggy. So the videos that go up while I'm gone are going to obviously be pre-recorded and pre-uploaded and pre-scheduled and all of that. I already have one of them done, actually. I don't have the other one done yet. Uh, so when you see them, I'm going to set them for the regular North American time. But just know that I probably won't answer comments or anything for a while because my time zones are all messed up. Uh, and then I will start uploading vlogs from there whenever I can because I don't know what the Wi-Fi situation is going to be like there yet and I don't know if I can upload in our Airbnbs because I don't know what the like a Wi-Fi limit will be. YouTube videos are big files, okay? <laughs> but anyway, thank you so much for watching my videos throughout October. I really appreciate your support. Every year I'm surprised because some of my older Halloween review videos gain a whole bunch of views in October but for some reason they don't get a lot of negative comments they'll get the odd one every now and then but they don't really get a lot of hate and I'm always like confused by that I'm like hmm where are the internet trolls so thank you for being so phenomenal and so sweet I don't know what I did to deserve it honestly I probably deserve the opposite but thank you for being you and thank you for watching this video. Please let me know what you loved in the month of October. I want to hear all about your makeup, and I want to hear all about your spoopy things, and I want to hear what you dress up as for Halloween. I know if you lived anywhere near me, there was like a massive storm on Halloween night, but did you still do something? I want to hear all about it. For the third time now, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!